Week seven, we're gonna visit Mother Nature. Let's go. All right, YouTube, it is cold, it is gloomy, but we are gonna make the best of it. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna focus on some parts of nature that have some really bright colors. And then I'm just gonna zoom in and focus on that one particular color. And then I'm gonna go find some water and we're gonna do some long exposure shots. That's gonna be awesome. Y'all stick around. Okay, so right away I can see that there's a tree here that has some really bright berries in it. So we're gonna get some photos of these berries. They're nice and red, you can see that? Pretty cool looking. So we're gonna take some pictures of this. I don't know what kind of berries these are, but I learned a long time ago that just because something's pretty, you don't always eat it. All right, so I was all... <laughs> All right, so as I was on my way to this convenience store to pick me up something to drink, I drove past these really colorful flowers. So I'm gonna get out of my car, I'm gonna go over there, and I'm gonna take some pictures of these flowers in front of all these people. I kind of feel weird about walking around taking pictures in people's flower beds and stuff, but it's for the sake of YouTube, so I'm happy to do it. Okay, so again, it's really cold and windy out here. There's some really cool looking flowers over here I'm gonna try to take some pictures of for you guys. I don't know if you can see these. Try to take some pictures for real. Okay, that was kind of weird. It's very cold, and as you can see, there's a cop over there. They've got somebody pulled over. So I kind of felt uh, awkward just being there in the middle of all that. <laughs> Ever since I got into photography, one of the things that I've been really interested in has been long exposure photography. And right behind me, we have a waterfall. So I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna try to take some photos of it and we're just gonna see how that turns out. Okay, so we're out here at Helen's Garden in League City and it's beautiful out here. There's a lot of flowers, a lot of plants, a lot of colors. We have this waterfall here behind me. I'm gonna do some, uh, some long exposure shots of. We've got the camera set up right here. I get everything ready to go. And then I'm gonna bring these pictures back into Lightroom and edit them for you. All right, so the thing about long exposure photography is that you have to have a slow shutter speed. We've got everything set up here and ready to go. I'm gonna take some pictures of this waterfall. Y'all stick around. And I'm freezing, but I got some really good pictures taken. I'm really happy about that. Lots of colorful flowers. We did the long exposure stuff of the waterfall. Everything looks great. I got some awesome looking photos, but it's time to go get warm and there's no better way to do that than to go get some hot wings. I'm so cold, I can't even think straight, but we're gonna go to Dan's Pizza. We're gonna get some of the hottest wings in town. Y'all stick around. Yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, Inferno wings and I'm gonna do uh, a brash vulgar display of power. It's going to be hot. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is the vulgar display of power by Brash. It's a Russian Imperial Stout. It's really good stuff. It's probably my favorite. All right, so we're back at my place where I'm gonna try Dan's Inferno wings. It's supposed to be the hottest wings that you can find around here. The reason that we're at my place and I'm no longer at Dan's is because I didn't wanna get in trouble with a copyright claim because they had music playing in the background and I couldn't have that in the video. So I brought the wings back here where I'm gonna open them up. I'm gonna try them for you right now. And I've got this nice big glass of milk in the event that it's too hot for me, but if it's not hot enough, I can always go with some Sriracha. All right, so here we go. We're gonna get into this right now. My God, man. I can tell you right off the bat that this looks very scary. That looks painful, man. Right off the bat, it's just hot. I can't tell what kind of pepper that is, though. But it's a... This is a hot pepper. Oh no, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Woo. Wow. 
<laughs> okay, so the plan for this channel is each week moving forward, I'm gonna start doing something fun or funny. Like trying to eat these hot wings. Oh my God, I feel like I'm dying. It's just burning. Oh man. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> wow. Wow. Oh my God. Ah, it's definitely the most painful thing I've ever been through in my life. There's no amount of milk in the world that's going to take this burn away. I'm tapping out. Okay, so those are the Inferno Wings from Dan's Pizza in Webster, Texas. If you want something hot, definitely give those a shot because, man, those are killer. Crazy hot. Jesus. Probably the hottest thing I've ever had in my life. Oh my God, that was hot. Look at my lips. That's just crazy. All right, so we did it. We got out there, we braved the cold with some hot wings. We took some photos. We even got pictures of those long exposure shots that I was trying to get. Now I'm gonna jump inside of Lightroom and I'm gonna show you how it's done, but I'm gonna use the mobile app. So y'all stick around. All right, so we're gonna jump into Lightroom on the mobile app. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop this picture. Then I'm gonna grab the brush tool and I'm gonna select the background because what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all that green that is not in the foreground. So we're just gonna keep brushing that in. Just like that. Try to be real careful. Because what we don't wanna do is remove the color of the flower. And then we're gonna hit our color tab and completely desaturate everything that we have highlighted. And as you can see now, we've completely removed all the color from the photo except for in the flower. All right, and next we're gonna come over here and we're gonna grab our color panel and we're gonna start adding saturation to each one of these colors. Just to make them stand out just a little bit. Next, we're gonna grab our effects tab where we're gonna add a little bit of texture and clarity along with a little bit of vignette, just to deepen the image a little bit. Next, we're gonna grab our gradient tool and we're gonna drop the exposure a bit just so that we can really focus in on this flower. All right, and then we're gonna come back to our color panel where we're gonna adjust these colors a little bit more just to make them pop and stand out from our background. All right, and that's starting to look pretty good to me. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of cool tones here to our photo. All right, and then we're gonna come back in with our gradient tool and we're gonna drop the exposure on the top of this photo just a little bit. All right, and that looks good. This photo is done. All right, and here's our long exposure shot that we did of our waterfall. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna crop this image. That looks good. And then we're gonna open our light tab and we're gonna start adjusting our white balance. We're gonna bring up the contrast and we're gonna drop everything else down just a little bit and bump up those whites. And then we're gonna add some cool tones to our photo and raise up the vibrance and saturation. Next, we're gonna open our color panel and we're gonna pull up the saturation just a little bit on all of the colors in this photo. All right, that's looking pretty good. And you'll notice here that if I drag this luminance tab around a little bit, it makes the water a little more or less visible. But I think it looks good just like that. All right, and once again, we're gonna grab our effects tab and we're gonna add a little bit of texture and a little bit of vignette to our photo.
Next, we're gonna grab our detail tab where we're gonna add a little bit of sharpening and a little bit of masking to our photo. We're also gonna hit it with a little bit of noise reduction and smoothness just to blend these colors together. Next, we're gonna add some blue to our shadows, along with a little bit of blue to our highlights. And I kinda wanna play around with these colors just a little bit to see what I can do to this water. And that looks good to me. All right, next we're gonna grab our gradient tool and we're gonna drop the exposure just a little bit leading up to our waterfall. And that looks great. And we're gonna do the same thing up here in this corner just so that we can really focus in on this waterfall. All right, and then we're gonna add just a little bit more vignette to this photo. And that is done. That looks good to me. All right, so that's a wrap. We got out there, we took our photos for the day, we braved the cold, we ate some hot wings, we ate some really hot wings. I got some of those long exposure photos that I've been trying to get for so long. It was a great day. I hope that you'll like and subscribe and stick around. Hit that notification bell for more updates, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.